Hi, Duncan Lucas from Passionate About Fish. Out shopping yesterday at the Arndale Centre and discovered Direct Fisheries. They had this beautiful lemon sole on display and we had to buy it to have for our tea. And I'm going to show you how to quarter cut it. And all we can say is thanks to Tom, an amazing fish. We're going to skin it first, we're going to just skin the black side and then we'll do quarter cuts. I'm going to take my filleting knife, take it round the side of the head lift the black skin and then push the tip of the blade down onto the fin. The critical thing is to break the skin on the fin. Then I'm going to use a cloth and I take hold of the skin at the corner and then I use my thumb and my finger. I'm going to make my finger into a hook and I'm going to pull it around the side of the lemon sole all the way to the tail so it releases the skin. Then I'm going to take hold of the skin and I'm going to roll the skin in a fist shape across the fish. Release the skin at the top. I'm going to use my thumb to get right down the side of the lemon sole, releasing the skin along the edge of the fins to make sure that I keep the flesh all in one piece. And then I pull the skin from the head towards the tail. And there is the lemon sole, black side skinned. Then we're going to produce quarter cut fillets. Now to do this at home, it's far easier to trim the fins off first. So I'm going to use a pair of scissors and I just follow a natural line around the side of the fish just to remove the fins. And I'm going to do that on both sides of the fish. Again, this is only to make it easier to lift the fillets off the bone. And while I've got the fish in my hand, I'm just going to trim the tail. Now we're ready to start filleting. Really excited about this one. Beautiful quality fish. We're going to use the lateral line, which is the line down here as the guide for the blade. You take the blade and just push straight down onto the lateral line and the knife will drop onto the bone. But that the bone has a ridge in the middle. I just drop the tip of the blade over the ridge and I'm only cutting a few millimetres just to make sure the knife drops along the side of the lift in the bone. And then I use the side of the blade, slight bend on the knife just to make sure you get good pressure and the fillets will just lift off the bone in a few gentle cuts. Then we're going to do the other side of the fish. First thing we need to do is cut around the back of the head to release the fillet. Drop the knife down on the other side of the ridge. Release the fillet from around the back of the head and then just tease your knife along the bone from head to tail following the natural run of the bones and the fillet will just tease off the top of the bone and there are the first two fillets nice and full really presentable then we're going to do the white side we're going to leave the skin on we need to cut round the back of the head first with the blade releasing the fillet then we need to take the knife and we need to follow the lateral line exactly down the center of the fish push straight down onto the bone, applying a little pressure to the blade. You can see the knife drops straight in onto the bone. I'm going to release this side of the fillet first. Again, drop the knife in, just releasing a few millimetres of fillet, just to make sure the blade's in the right place, as you can see. And then we put the blade in. I'm going to release the bit at the head end first, and then tease the knife from head to tail, nice, gentle, long movements, and there's the first fillet. Second side, we've got to go over the ridge, cutting a few millimetres just to make sure the knife's in this right place again. I'm going to release the rib cage, which is at the top, and then use the tip of the blade to run down the whole length of the fish from head to tail. And because we've trimmed the fins away, the fillets just lift off beautifully. Four quarter fillets ready for mine and Sue's tea and all we can say is thank you very much Tom.